What's up, family? What's up? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. We here are on week 12. Playoffs are right around the corner, and games are getting serious. It's going to be a serious week for football this week, and we're going to get right into our picks. And guys, guess what? All my people on FanDuel, all my people on DraftKings, you like my picks? Ride with me. If you don't like my picks, I dare you bet against me. Urban Sports Guru, I dare you. What are we going to get into the first game? Tampa Bay against Atlanta. In Atlanta... Now, Atlanta's giving four and a half. Guess what? I like ATL. Tampa's going to put up a lot of yards. they got two receivers in the top five as far as, as far as yardage. But Atlanta's been balling. I like Atlanta moving forward for next season. Next season. They get the coaching taken care of. So much talent, and they're going to get high draft picks. I like Atlanta moving forward for next season. End of this year, they're going to they gonna hurt some people. They're gonna hurt some people as far as uh as far as um being spoiler because the offense can score a ton of points. You have an offense with Julio, um they th- got the two Alabama receivers, Matt Ryan's still in the damn good quarterback. If they can draft a running back, I'm just saying. But uh Atlanta's giving four and a half, and not like the Falcons. Jameis Wilson will find a way to give give you two, three turnovers. Give you a whole bunch of yards, but he will give you two or three turnovers. Buffalo was given four to Denver. Denver, that young quarterback, played great in Minnesota. I give credit where give credit where it's due. I don't think he's gonna play as well in Buffalo. I just don't. And Josh Allen played well. I expect that, I don't think this will be a high scoring game, but I expect them to at least win by they'll win by six to seven points. They'll cover that. Chicago against my Giants. Trubisky is playing. The only reason I'm going to give this to Chicago, they're giving six. My defense is horrible. My Giants defense is horrible. Last year when they played this game, Saquon went crazy. This ain't last year, Saquon. This year, Saquon is hurt. There's something not right. And the way the Giants defense is just horrible. They can't They can't stop nobody. They can't stop flu. <sighs> On the road. I'm going with Chicago. Now, Pittsburgh is giving six and a half on the road to Cincinnati. Division four, can they win by that much on the road with basically a third-string quarterback? I think Cincinnati's going to catch somebody. They won't go winless. This could be the game that happens, and I hope it does happen to that fucking bitch Rick Mason Rudolph with the shit he started, the fact that he didn't even get a game. I hope, he do- I hope they do lose this game. I'm not brave enough to pick it, but I hope they do lose this game. Just so they can get that one win against the Steelers. Now, you got Cleveland giving ten and a half against Miami. Fist Magic, this is what he does. He'll give you a couple of games that will wow you. But guess what? It's just a couple of games. Now they don't have Miles Garrett for the rest of the year. Okay, granted, he made his mistake. Cleveland's gonna win, but ten and a half, they're not covering that. They're not covering that this late in the year. Hell no. Carolina against New Orleans. New Orleans giving nine and a half. The way their defense is playing, New Orleans. I think expecting to get a turnover or two out of Kyle Allen. Everybody's making this thing about Kyle on the Cam Newton. Kyle Allen may not be Mr. Right, but he's Mr. Right now. I can't give it to you no simpler than that. He may not be the person you need moving forward, but he's the person they need now. Cam can't even get on the field. I'm rolling with New Orleans, and I'm taking that nine and a half. Oakland giving two and a half to the Jets. Jets have been playing better lately. They have been playing better lately. But Oakland has, Josh Jacobs has been one of the better running backs in the league this year. Jets, they're getting better defensively. I think Oakland will control the clock and run into football, and I think they will get pressure on Sam Darnold. Jets' offensive line sucks. They're going to get pressure on Sam Darnold, and he's going to start seeing ghosts again. I'm rolling with Oakland. Seattle, basically in the pick em. Philly's given one and a half. Philly's receivers, I just don't trust them. Philly's five and five. They could easily be... Easily. Like, they... That's three, so they could be eight and two if Philly could just catch the football. That's three games. Three games. 
If they just caught the football, game one and touchdown passes by Carson Wentz. I do not trust their receivers. I'm rolling with Seattle. I love you, Lamar Jackson, but right now the MVP is still Russell Wilson. I'm rolling with Seattle. You know, we got Detroit. Stafford's not playing. But they're giving three and a half to Washington. Um, They're giving three and a half to Washington. I'm rolling with the Redskins. I think Dwayne Haskins gets his first win. They are at home. They're going to get their first win. They'll get their first win. The very least, they'll cover that. Tennessee versus Jacksonville. Tennessee's coming off a bye. And the way Ryan Tannehill plays with this offense at home and with the way I've seen Jacksonville not be able to stop the run, now you got to go to Tennessee and deal with Derrick Henry. I'm rolling with Tennessee, and I think they're going to cover that three points. Now, Dallas versus New England. The reason why I'm taking New England, New England's giving six and a half. The reason why I'm taking New England is very simple. Dallas piles up a lot of yards, but they never beat a winning football team. You've got New England, who also, they don't have beaten a lot of winning football teams, but it's just the fact that their division is what it is. Their division is horrible. They at least beat Buffalo. They at least beat Buffalo. I don't know if Dallas could beat Buffalo. Dallas had Minnesota at home, and they laid an egg and lost. So... By default, two teams that they look a hell of a lot better against worse of teams. I'm going with the team with Tom Brady. I'm going with the team with Bill Belichick. And the fact that they're home, beating them at Foxborough, I'm rolling with the Patriots. Now, Green Bay is getting three in San Francisco Sunday night. Green Bay's coming off a bye. I expect this to be a hard-fought game. I expect this to be a close game. But I expect Aaron Rodgers magic late because Jimmy G, if his running game, ain't there, I don't think he's all the way back there yet. And I don't expect him to be all the way back there. He's done. He's exceeding my expectations already so far. Aaron Rodgers is. And that defense, they'll give up yards, particularly running yards, but they'll pressure the quarterback. McGlinch is good. Joe Staley's a little long in the tooth. They're going to get pressure on that backside. I like Green Bay to make a play or two defensively, and they'll win this game. Baltimore against the Rams. They have an opportunistic defense in Baltimore that forces turnovers versus a quarterback who gives the ball away left and right. One thing the Rams have done defensively, I like the, the way they're moving defensively, but they went away from just a stretch play and straight man blocking, running it straight. Straight running plays, and they seem to have success. I think if they did that, do continue to do it against Baltimore, they may have some success. But in the way they've load managed Ty Gurley for this point in the year and then through the playoffs, I don't think it will be enough. Though I think the Lamar Jackson show, he's made me a believer. I'm rolling with the Ravens. Ravens give him three. They're gonna win and they're gonna cover that. That was my picture. Your boy Urban Sports Guru. See me on FanDuel. See me on DraftKings. I'll let you boy hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm out. Salute.